Hey, do you come to the gym every day? No, I can't. I have to work. That's why I come on the weekends. Do you come every day? Yes. Can you lift weights? Yes, but not very well. Can you help me? Do you like working out? Sure. Can you do aerobics? I never tried. I can do gymnastics. Can you? I can't, but my girlfriend can. Do you do any sports with your girlfriend? Yes, we both can do karate. We practice every weekend. Where do you work out? I don't work out in a gym, but I do a lot of track and field events. Hmm. What can you do? I can jog a marathon. I can run a 50 meter dash too. Hmm. Do you do any other events? I do the long jump and I do the high jump. I can long jump too. Hmm. Maybe we can practice the long jump together. Can you go swimming with us today? No, I can't. I have to help my mother. Can you go swimming with us tomorrow? Sure. Do you go swimming every day? No, I go swimming on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Do you like mountain climbing? Sure, I love it. I can climb a 300 meter mountain. Wow, do you go mountain climbing every weekend? No, I don't go mountain climbing when it snows. Do you mountain climb? No, I can't, but I want to learn. I did not know that you could dive. I can't, I am just learning to dive. Can you dive? Yes, I can but I'm not very good. So, do you do any other sports? I can play tennis. Do you play often? I can't play very often. I have to study every day. Look at this. This guy's mountain climbing. I cannot do that. It's too dangerous. Do you do any extreme sports? I can parasail. Really? Can you skydive? No, I cannot skydive. I want to learn. I cannot hang glide either. My boss at work can hang glide. He loves it. My brother lives in Hawaii. He lives on the beach. Does he like water sports? Sure, he can swim and surf. Does he windsurf? I'm not sure. His wife also loves water sports. She might. What does she like? She likes water polo. She can dive also. They both can scuba dive and they do it all the time. What are you doing this Sunday? I don't have any plans. Can we go sailing? No, we can't. We can't use my sister's boat. She's using it on Sunday. Can we go biking or jogging? I can't because my foot still hurts. You can go swimming, right? Yeah, I can do that. Do you have any hobbies? I like music. I have a large collection of cassette tapes and CDs. Hmm. Do you go to concerts? No, I don't. I usually listen to music at home. Hmm. Do you have any hobbies? I hike in the mountains. I go hiking with my brothers every month. Do you hunt too? No, but we go bird watching. You look tired. Did you work out? Yeah. Do you work out every day? No, I don't. I work out only on Mondays. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Do you work out? No, I don't. I watch movies. Do you like movies? No, I don't. 
but I like music. What do you do in your free time? Well, I usually do ballet. I go to ballet school every Tuesday and Thursday night. Hmm. Do you do anything else? I play the guitar. Sometimes I play the piano. What about you? Do you do anything special? I also like music, so I play the piano too. On the weekends, I usually go hiking or fishing, but I don't go hunting. I don't like it. Here, have some pizza. Um, no, thank you. I do not like pizza that much. Hmm. Well, have some french fries. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do not like french fries either. You do not like french fries. Well, let's see. Here is a hamburger. Try it. I do not like hamburgers. It's fattening. I'm on a diet. Hmm. You do not like pizza. You do not like french fries. And you do not like hamburgers. What do you like? I like ice cream. <laughs> Does your boyfriend spend much time with you? Mine doesn't. He's too busy. What does he do? He goes to college. Does he play sports with his friends? Well, he plays snooker, but not very often. Does he travel a lot? No, he doesn't leave town. Does he study all the time? <laughs> no, he doesn't study too much. What does he do then? He works two jobs. <sighs> do you and your classmate have any hobbies? Sure. I fish. And Jim, my best friend, hikes in the forest. Do you hunt animals? No, I don't. I don't like to kill animals. Does Jim hunt? No, he doesn't. What about your other classmates? What do they do? Well, the guys like to camp. They don't camp alone. They camp with friends. What do you do in your free time? I paint. I don't fish or hike. I don't like outdoors. Where did you go? I just finished ballet practice. Do you do ballet? Yes. I practice every Tuesday and Thursday. Do you do any sports? No, I don't. I sing karaoke and do magic in my free time. Hmm. Does your wife do magic too? No, she doesn't. She plays chess and darts. What does your husband do in his free time? He doesn't practice ballet with me. He watches movies. In fact, he and my children watch movies all the time. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Martin. How are things in Los Angeles? Just fine. I'm having a wonderful time. What do you do every day? Do you shop and visit museums? Sure, but at night I go out with my friends. Do you dance at discos? Sure. Do you do anything else at night? I go to comedy clubs and watch movies. Do your friends go with you? Yes. Do you go to expensive restaurants? No, we do not. We do not have enough money. Did you know that my uncle is an athlete? Really? Does he train every day? Not really. He trains Monday to Friday, but he does not train on Saturdays or Sundays. He rests on those days. What does he eat to stay thin? He eats vegetables and lots of fruit, but he does not eat hamburgers, candy, ice cream, or pizza. Does he drink beer? No, he does not drink beer, Coke, or anything sweet. He only drinks milk and fruit juice. I'm lost. Do you know where the bank is? Yeah. Turn left here. 
follow that road about a mile. The bank is in the shopping center. You can't miss it. I don't get it. Could you repeat it again, please? Turn left at this intersection. Follow that road for about one mile. The bank is in the shopping center. So I turn left at this intersection, not the next one. That's right. Thanks. Do you know where the nearest police station is? Yeah. Walk down that street and take the third right. Then walk past the bank and the supermarket. It will be on your right. It's next to the laundromat. So, I go down and make a right on the third street. Then I pass the bank and supermarket. And the police station is next to the laundromat. That's correct. I could probably find it. Thanks for your time. No problem. Can you tell me where the bakery is? Sure. Um, turn right here and go down about four blocks, then turn left. That is Warren Road. Go down there and you will see it on the left side of the street. I'm sorry. I'm lost. Can you repeat that? Turn right. Go down this road four blocks. Then turn left at the intersection of Warren Road. Walk down Warren Road and the bakery is on the left side of the street. Oh, thanks. I got it now. If you can't find it, just ask someone. Thanks. You've been a big help. Excuse me. I'm lost. What are you looking for? My friend's house. He lives at 3908 Rancliffe Road. Rancliffe? Oh, yes. Go down this road until you come to the second intersection. Make a right turn. Then go down that road to the large intersection and make a left turn. Rancliffe is your first left. So if I got it, I go down this street and take a right on the second intersection, then keep going until I come to a large intersection and Rancliffe is on the right. No. Make a left turn at the intersection and Rancliffe will be on your left. Okay. This has been very helpful. Thank you. Oh. 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 I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I was wondering, how do I get to St. Paul's Hospital from here? It's pretty far. Drive down this road, then make a left at the shopping center. That will be Warren Road. Do you know the name of the shopping center? It is called City Plaza. Thanks. Then what do I do? Well, um, go down Warren Road for about four miles, then hang a right at Rushmore Avenue. The hospital will be down Rushmore about a mile on your left side. Okay. I think I got it now. Well, good luck. Oh, excuse me. I'm new here. Is there a bank on the corner of Bradley Boulevard? Um, yes. Um, go along this road until you come to the intersection of Bradley and Wilson. It's at that intersection. Is it far? No, it will take you about three or four minutes to get there. Thanks. 
You've been very helpful. Don't mention it. Good luck. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I think I might be lost. Where are you trying to go? To the police station. <laughs> oh, just go down this street and make the second left. You will have to walk down that street about a kilometer, and the police station is across from Robinson's. Okay, so that's down here, and then turn left on the second block, and then go down the road about a kilometer, and it's opposite of Robinson's. That's it. Thanks. Hello, tourist office. Can I help you? Yeah, what special events do you have today? Well, we have the marine biology exhibit at the aquarium. Where is that? It's on Pasadena Boulevard. When does the exhibit open? It is open from 9 to 5 and the admission is $7, but kids are free. Oh, good. Uh, thanks for your help. Hello? How can I help you, sir? Where do you suggest I go? What do you like? Hmm. I really like contemporary art. Try the National Art Gallery. Where is it? Go down this road, then turn left. It's on the right side of the street. Where do I turn left? At Los Alamos Boulevard. Is it open every day? It is open every day, except on Mondays it closes at 6 p.m. Is the admission free? It costs Four dollars to get in. Thanks. Where's a good place to take my kids? Hmm. I would suggest the Science Museum. That sounds good. How do I get to the Science Museum? Take the underground to West End Station, then go right on Bolton Road and turn left. You can't miss it. When do I turn left? Ah. Uh, Turn left at the intersection with the National Savings Bank at the corner. Is it free? Children under 12 are free, but it is $3.90 for adults. There is a good dinosaur collection on exhibit now. Mm, I'm sure my children will love it. Thanks for your help. Hello, tourist office. May I help you? Yes. Could you tell me some famous places or special events happening in San Francisco this weekend? Hmm, would you like something touristy or off the beaten path? This is my first trip to San Francisco, so something touristy would be fine. Well, there is the Fisherman's Wharf Handicraft Festival on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That sounds good. What is the best way to get there? Do you want to go by bus? Sure. What bus takes me to Fisherman's Wharf? The 109 will take you there. What is there to see? Well, there is the festival as well as many famous restaurants and shops. Sounds exciting. Thanks. You're welcome. Enjoy your stay. Hi, Debbie. How are things at your new home? Fine. I really like going to college in New York. Has the semester begun yet? Yeah, I'm busy though. Do you still have time to practice singing? Sure. I go to college on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Only three days? Yeah. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I work at a restaurant. On Saturdays, I practice singing. And on Sundays, I clean my apartment. When do you have time to study? I study every night. What do you study at school? I study math on Mondays and I study science on Tuesdays. Do you study English? Yes, I study English on Wednesdays. On Thursdays I study history and on Fridays I study music. What do you study? My schedule is like yours. On Mondays I study math and on Thursdays I study history. But on Tuesdays I study English. 
And on Wednesdays, I study music. What do you study on Fridays? I study science. Mmm, that's interesting. On Mondays, we both study math. We study history on Thursdays. What do you do on Saturdays? I go to the movies with my sister. Then I go to the shopping mall with my boyfriend. What do you do on Sundays? I go to the park to exercise. Later, I go to a disco with my friends. What do your friends do on the weekends? My friends go to the library and study on Saturdays. On Sundays, they go shopping. On Sunday nights, we all go to a disco. Do you go to parties? Yes, we go to parties on Friday nights. Does your boyfriend like music? Yes, he listens to rock, jazz, and rap every day. He also listens to music on the internet. Does he watch movies or TV? On Sundays, he watches movies with me. He watches TV after school. I watch TV on the weekends. Do you listen to music on the internet? No, I listen to the radio. I listen to country and classical music. What do you and your friends do at summer camp? We get up in the mornings and have breakfast. Then we jog. In the afternoons, I swim, but my friends dance. Does your sister go to summer camp with you? Yes, she jogs with us in the mornings. And she swims with me in the afternoons. What does your sister do in the evening at summer camp? She sings songs and plays the guitar with her friends. They watch movies, but she only watches comedies. Where does your husband work? He works for an airline. Does he travel to many places? Sure. Every Monday morning, he flies to Los Angeles, and he returns home on Tuesday afternoon. Does he travel on Wednesday too? On Wednesday evenings, he drives to Washington D.C. and flies to Florida. He returns home on Friday afternoon. What does he do on the weekends? Let's see.、Um, on Saturday mornings, he takes the children to football practice. In the afternoons, he plays tennis with his friends. What about at night? On Saturday nights, we all go to watch a basketball game. Do you like living in India? Yes, but it's very different here. I wake up very early every day and clean the house. I then cook breakfast for my children. My husband takes them to school, then he goes to work. Where does your husband work in India? He works for the World Bank. During the day, I shop and study Hindi. What do you do at night? At night, we have dinner and watch television. What are you studying this semester? On Mondays, I study science. On Tuesdays, I study history. I study English on Wednesdays, and I study math on Thursdays. What do you study on Fridays? I study music on Fridays. <coughs> What do you do every day? <clears throat> uh, every day, I wake up early in the morning. Then I clean the house. I cook breakfast. What do you do in the afternoons?、Uh, I jog and swim. Do you dance? I dance in the evening. What else do you do in the evening? Um, I watch TV and have dinner. Do you go shopping on Sundays? No, I go shopping on Saturdays. What else do you do on the weekends? I go to the library and study on Saturdays. In the evenings, I hang out with friends and go to the movies. What do you like to do on Sundays? I go to the park.
Can you tell me about the house, please? Sure. It's quite small. There's a small living room and kitchen next to it. There are two bedrooms and one bathroom. Is the house furnished? A little. There's no furniture in the living room, but in the kitchen, there's a refrigerator and a stove. Are there any beds in the bedrooms? In one bedroom, there's a large bed, but none in the other. Is the house one story or two stories? It is a one story house. Can you tell me about the house? Sure. There are two bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen, and a dining room. What are the bedrooms like? Well, there's a bed, a lamp, and a chest of drawers. Hmm, sounds good. In the bathroom, there's a toilet and a shower. Great. Would you like to see it? Can you tell me a little bit about the room? I would love to. It is a large room and it is partially furnished. Is there a bathroom too? Sure. In the bathroom, there is a large bathtub and a toilet. Are there any windows in the bedroom? Yes. There are two windows. There are also drapes. Is there any furniture in the bedroom? No, there's not any. Fine, when can I come to see it? What is the apartment like? Well, it is completely furnished. It has a living room, a large bathroom, a small kitchen, and a bedroom. What is inside the kitchen? The kitchen has a sink, refrigerator, a cabinet for your dishes, and a stove. Is there an oven inside the kitchen? No, it does not have an oven, but it does have a microwave. I see. Tell me about the living room. The living room has a blue sofa, two large chairs, a coffee table, and a TV. Can you describe the place? There are three bedrooms, a computer room, a dining room, and a kitchen. Does the house have any bathrooms? Oh yes, I forgot. It has a bathroom in each bedroom. Wow. Does this house have any furniture? There is some furniture in the computer room and the dining room. Does it have a computer? No, it doesn't. But it has TV, stereo, a desk, and a table. Tell me about it. It's a lovely old house. When you enter the house, you will see a living room. Is there any furniture in the living room? No, the house is unfurnished. Next to the living room is a kitchen. Then between the kitchen and living room is a stairway. Oh, so there are two floors. Yes, that's right. On the second floor, there is a bedroom. Across from it are a bathroom and a study. Is there a closet in the bedroom? Yes, there is. What's it like? It is quite nice. Near the door is the family room and kitchen. I see. Upstairs are the bedrooms? In front of the master bedroom are the stairs and a small bathroom. Does it have any windows? Yes. There are two windows in the master bedroom and one in the other bedroom. Great. Is there a lamp or closet? Yes. There is a closet in each bedroom and one near the door. Tell me what the apartment is like. It is large and partially furnished. Is there a kitchen in it? Yes, but it is quite small. There is also a bathroom and a bedroom. Are there any windows in the bedroom? Sure, I think there are too. Is there any furniture in the bedroom? There is a bed, but that is all. 
What is in the bedroom? Mm, let's see. Ah, yes. There's a bed, a desk, a wardrobe. Does the rest of the house have any furniture? There isn't any in the bathroom, but the living room is furnished. Does the living room have a sofa? Sure. It has a sofa, three chairs, and a coffee table. Is there a TV in the living room? Hmm. Sorry, there isn't any. What is the house like? On the first floor, there is a kitchen. Is there a refrigerator in the kitchen? Yes, and next to the kitchen is a dining room. What is upstairs? We have two bedrooms and a bathroom. Is the bathroom in the master bedroom? No, it is across the hall from the master bedroom. We have student and study. My daughter is a high school student studying. I'm studying at Oxford University. Two, even an event. She loves her dad a lot, even though he's very strict. Event. We are going to have a fundraising event this weekend. Three, comment and comment. Do you have any comments about this picture? Comment. What kinds of shops are common in your city? Fourth, true and new. I usually chew gum while I'm on the bus. New, our cousin has just bought a new car. Next, secret and secretary. He told me about his secret relationship with no woman. And secretary, my sister is working as a secretary for a big company. What day is it today? You usually have to ask this one if you don't remember, right? What day is it today? Today, not today, okay? Today, it's Tuesday, okay? It's Tuesday, or it's Monday, it's Saturday. It's Tuesday. Or you can say in full sentence, that is, today is Tuesday. Again, what day is it today? It's Tuesday. Number two, we have an appointment on Saturday, right? Now, remember, we link together have, haven't, haven't. And this one, have an appointment, have an appointment. Have an appointment. We have an appointment on Sunday, right? Have an appointment, that means you are going to meet a person because you are already arranged the time to meet. So that is called... An sorry, an appointment. We have an appointment on Sunday, right? Yes, that's right, if it is correct. Yes, that's right. Or no, on Saturday. No, on Saturday. Again, we have an appointment on Sunday, right? Yes, that's right. No, on Saturday. Number three. When do we have English? Remember, S and H here we say sh English, okay? Uh, don't say English or English or English. This is English. When do we have English? We have English on Mondays and Friday. We have English on Mondays and Fridays. Remember uh, that is a timetable, like for example, you study a semester or in a term and then every Monday, every Friday you have the English class. So you have to add Mondays as here and Fridays here. That means every Monday and every Friday. We have English on Mondays and Fridays. Or you can say in simple words, we have English every Monday and Friday. We have English every Monday and Friday. Is tomorrow Thursday? Is, is tomorrow Thursday? Yes, that's right. Or no, tomorrow is Wednesday. No, tomorrow is Wednesday. 
uh, I underline I underline the words here that means you can change the days of the week okay is tomorrow Thursday yes that's right no tomorrow is Wednesday 